What's your fantasy? This is commentary from James Brown. Early this week, someone in suburban Detroit bought a new Powerball ticket. That ticket was worth $842 million. As of this recording, we don't know who they are, and if I were them, I wouldn't tell a soul. I'd keep working for a few months, buy an RV, buy my mother a modest house, set up a trust with a strict allowance for myself, and quietly resign. From there, I'd grab the girlfriend. We'd walk the earth, you know, like Kane and Kung Fu. You'd find us in some Walmart parking lot in between Topeka and Tampa Bay. All this fantasizing led me down a Google wormhole about the lottery. According to a Vox.com article, half of us, that's one out of two Americans, buy at least one ticket a year, usually when the jackpots are ginormous. And I'm guilty as charged. So that's not the idea that shocked me. This did. One in eight Americans buy at least one lotto ticket weekly. The article describes the average lotto ticket purchaser as a lower income, less educated, non-white male. And the kicker? These men apparently buy between 70 and 80 percent of all the lotto tickets in America. And sadly, they're not many of the big winners. But I can't begrudge them for spending a little bit of their income to try. Who doesn't need a few moments of fantasy to get them through the day? What do you think? And what do you fantasize about? Tell me in the comments at jamesbrowntv.substack.com or email me at jamesbrowntv at gmail.com. You can also leave me a message at 585-484-0339. On that note, I'm James Brown, and as always, be well.